Yo, yo guys, my name is Legend and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you liked that little edit in the beginning of the video, but let's get right into the interesting stuff. Now, earlier this week, I got this package in the mail, which is weird because I did not order anything. And that's because the guys at RNG Racing were nice enough to send me this Fender Eliminator slash Tail Tidy for my R125, which is just awesome. Thank you so much, guys. So let's see what's in the box. Now in the box we obviously get the replacement for the stock fender, feels very solid, nice and black painted and you can tell that this is already going to look way better than the stock one, way smaller, looks way better in my opinion. Also in the box is a little bag with I guess instructions and stuff so let's open it. We get a few RNG stickers which is pretty awesome, we get a paper with Fitting instructions, also pretty handy, they are in English, very nice. Then what else do we get? We get a little light that illuminates your license plate, which is mandatory here in Belgium. I don't know about other countries, but here in Belgium you have to have it. It's illegal to drive without a little light on your license plate. And we get all kinds of wiring for the indicators and stuff, a couple of zip ties and washers and all of the random stuff that you will need to install this. Also there's another small bag in it with a reflector which I'm probably not going to use and some adapters for different kinds of indicators I guess. Let's say you want to run the LED indicators that RNG cells you can use them with this crack in this bag I believe but I will be running the stock indicators for now. Okay guys this was everything inside of the box now let's get over to the garage. Okay guys so the installation process is actually pretty easy. First thing you gotta do is take off pretty much all the fairings and the seats. After you've taken off your seats and the fairings, you can remove your license plate and the stock license plate holder. Unplug all the wires and the license plate holder should come right off. Now it's time to take off the indicators. Now you can just put the indicators on the new fender eliminator. After you've installed the indicator and the license plate LEDs, it's time to bolt it on to your bike. Don't forget to plug in all of the wires and it's time to put all of your plastic back on the bike. 